a volcano has erupted in southwest Iceland after weeks of intense earthquakes in the area. 4,000 people were evacuated from the nearest town last month, but Icelandic government says the eruption does not present a threat to life. Joining us now is the Icelandic journalist Svonja Folkelsen. Good afternoon to you. You are fairly near, I understand, where this is, uh, where this is all happening, or as near as you can yeah. be. 15 kilometres from uh, the eruption. Uh, in Keplavik, the town of Keplavik, where the international airport is located. Now, when we and think of volcanoes, you know, as kids, these are, you know, it's exciting, a volcano erupting, it's nature. <laughs> uh, we've watched those documentaries where this occurs. It's an incredible thing to see. Uh, not Absolutely. so funny if you're one of the 4,000 people that's had to move out of their homes, I guess. I was not uh, one of those, uh, thank God, but, uh, you know, because my... My uh, sympathy and, and heart is with uh, those people that have left their homes, uh, left everything behind, and uh, but uh, uh, have found shelter, have found security somewhere else, but uh, are now watching uh, uh, the uh, crack in the ground uh, coming uh, ever closer to their uh, village. But uh, at the moment, uh, there are no lives in danger. I mean, we can see some of the activity there on our screens. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, this is incredible. And as you rightly say, the government and officials have uh, done exactly what they should do. They obviously have a system in place where they were expecting this for many, many weeks. So everybody is safe. But I would imagine that there is still a, a, a huge problem for getting back to their homes, a huge problem for tourism. Um, and clearly, for many people, it won't be a happy Christmas. Well, uh, we will try to make it as happy as possible for <laughs> them. Christmas is very important for Icelanders. Sure. Uh, this is uh, family time. But uh, uh, they will not be at home uh, over Christmas. That's, that is for sure. Uh, the eruption occurred very close to a very uh, popular tourist attraction called the Blue Lagoon. And uh, they have built now uh, around the Blue Lagoon and the geothermal power station that uh, actually is uh, adjacent to the Blue Lagoon, uh, some uh, walls of, made out of earth. They have been working on it for a month in order to protect the power station, making it, uh, well, trying to secure electricity and hot water for the uh, population of Reykjanes uh, Bær and Keplavik. Uh, which uh, the airport is a part of. So we are not uh, in the immediate uh, uh, danger of, of losing uh, the, uh, neither water or uh, electricity. Sure. Well, I mean, that's, that's good to hear. Do we know what the prediction is for how long this volcano will remain in this state? The, this eruption is uh, 10 times bigger than we saw... Uh, in the past three eruption in this area. We have had three in the past two years, and this one is 10 times bigger, which means that the, the force at which the magma is coming up is tremendous. And uh, it is about uh, 400 uh, cubic meters a second. And uh, that means that uh, it, the magma chambers are going to empty themselves very quickly. Right. So the prediction is uh, about a week that this is going to last. Well, we hope you're all safe and well. Thank you for speaking with us, Swanya. We appreciate your time. Swanya Thorkelsen, who is a, a journalist over there in Iceland, 15K from where that is happening. You've seen the live. We can see the live pictures on your screen. Extraordinary stuff. Thank you to him.